Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for some more GeoGuessr. Today we are continuing our goal of getting a perfect score in every single country and also then getting a gold medal. Uh, today we are going to be playing in Switzerland, because Switzerland is a small country and it should be easier to get a perfect score. Um, and I'm, <laughs> I'm starting this as simply as I can because I, well, I, I'd like a soft start to all this. Okay, um, so uh, the thing now is um, in the last map, which was Norway, I knew the language, which made it easier. Here, some things are in German and some things are in French. And I speak some French and no German. So um, it's going to be interesting. Let's see. Uh, I. I'm not very familiar with uh, with uh, Swiss um, well general geography, and I'm not familiar with their their cities. So yeah, it's going to be somewhat interesting. Um, but that seems like a town that we can find on the map. So we'll go over here and see if we can find something useful. Um, it's not the biggest time, but it's there, and that's pretty much all we need. Although going into someone's driveway is probably not the m most useful thing. Um, And actually, going into town also probably isn't the most useful thing in the world because uh, we want the road number. That's really what we want. Uh, so, I, come on. I think uh, we're more interested in the signs here. Let's see. Can we get anything from this? No. Along number seven, blue number seven. Are there any blue roads? Yes, there are. They're small. And that's number six. Four, two, eight, seventeen, five, one. I'd like to find a number seven, please. I don't think we're in like this area. I think we're in like the middle part here because there are no big mountains. Um, okay, so we have one, five, nine. Um, and this is just pretty much looking for the uh, for row number seven. That's all we can do here. Could be all the way in the north on the border with uh, there we go uh, on the border with Germany, and so it is. That also makes sense because uh, there were uh, road names uh, like places in German, and like this is the German part, while this is generally the more um, um, French part. But yeah, we're up here, uh, and now we want to find uh, Winterhur and Saint Gallen. Now we're between here, and that's Winterhur. Nice. And Winterhut is to our west, so... And I think I remember this name um, from one of the previous signs, and that's St. Gallen. So we're between here, probably close to this, I'm going to, to guess. Now, the question is where close to this? And for that, we just have to uh, look at the smaller signs, I think. Those are not place names, though. Uh, it seems... Maybe. No, I don't think so. And so, what's the name of... That's Elg. It, that's there. Okay, so this is probably where we are then, uh, or this may 
that makes more sense, right? Uh, I went back too far. Here's the road going uh, pretty much mainly south. It's south uh, southeast. That's there maybe. That makes sense. So we're over here. And here we have the um, we have a corner. That was a bit too far. There we go. A bend in the road and like in the uh, middle of the bend, there's a road going north, which would be that one. So yeah, we're down here somewhere. Uh, now we have to find our exact location. And that's just next to this uh, tiny thing here. And we are uh, north of that. Because we're looking south at that thing. So roughly there. Make us. Close enough. Good. That's great. We keep going. Keep going. And I think this is roughly the same kind of uh, area uh, based on the geography. Uh, there, aren't, there aren't any like gigantic mountains and the architecture head still looks mainly German, I think. Um, yeah, it does. Slightly more like what you'd find in the Alps, but maybe I mean it is it's mostly mostly the same. So um, I don't want to go into town. No, I want to find the um, exit to towards the town. Please, can we go stay on the road? Please, staying on the road. Yes, good. The main road. Because that's what we want to find. We want to find the main road. And <sighs> no, okay, okay, can't stay on the road. Then we have to go up here and go through town. Find the exit to no. <sighs> it seems that's not impo not possible. So um, yeah, this was a bit tricky, mainly because of the geocaching mechanics. Uh, but we'll get there. And we're. Come on! Okay, I'll click on the like shrubbery to the left here instead of on the road. That should make sure we stay out of the. T Please, can I go up? Okay, maybe we can find something useful in here. Uh, still in German though. Nope. Um, no, not really, no. Nothing useful there. Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're still in the, on the border with, uh, with, uh, Germany up here. Maybe over here, but like, yeah, around Zurich. So, uh, so that's... Uh, I would like to go here as well though. Okay, returning to search and going the other way because apparently we can't go in like in the direction of the time, town because that's impossible. And all we need now is a road number. Um, nothing else really that's gonna help us. Maybe this sign. Uh, that's like a, and that's exit number one. That's actually also important. Uh, but in in a kilometer, there's an exit for uh, Barjan, uh, something like that. Don't know. And that seems like a uh, a French name, actually. Okay, this is maybe going to help us. That's German. And that's... Sounds more... More French. Here we go. Okay, so we are on road number... 
Road number four towards Zurich. Uh, Zurich is uh, south. And road number four. So. Where, where, hmm, what? Zurich is south. Like that. 57 kilometers away. And. Number four goes here. Does it keep going anywhere? Like, is there some more number four up here? Yes, there is. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's so just punk it down there for now. Uh, we're s north of that as well, which is here. So we're in this, like, little pocket up into Germany. Um, still along number four. And I'm guessing this is the town we went by. I'm guessing that. Um, that seems like the right distance as well. And what that means is that we can try to find our exact location. If we go back to start and see that we're going uh, South, um, pretty much, yeah, pretty much south, um, southwest. So we're along here, and then I want to know where this is, where this happens. That's the next point of interest because we should see a road on the opposite side here. Like, like there's, there's a road down here, and we want to see where this road. Uh, it appears on the other side. It should be. Huh. Maybe I was wrong. That's exit number two, though. That's number one, and that's the city where we were by. So this is probably where we are. Maybe. Maybe. No? Yeah, no, because I can't remember that. And that was in... <sighs> I'm struggling a bit here. Uh, but if you keep going north, uh, the fun thing is we should hit Germany eventually. So we can use that. We're still going pretty straight north though. So this sounds more and more probable. Um... But yeah, okay. So here we get to the like we're a kilometer from there, and that's going north, right? So yeah, we're still we, sh we should be like by this town, and what that means is. As we're looking straight north now, and we're in a bend of some sort. Yeah, we are. Looking absolutely straight north. We have to be here. And that is why this netting is there, maybe? Because it's the border? No. Well, if that's the case, then we can go like around this bend and see that this long straight windy bit. That makes sense, yeah. Uh has to be like for us it goes left and then back right but not much so it's left and then back right yes we're there we're there yeah uh, which again we should find this road crossing we should and it should happen pretty much right here and that's Strat Road right there. Good, good. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're actually ahead of schedule in like comparison to Norway here. <laughs> and the speed limit is 100 km per hour on this road. That would be pretty much impossible in uh, in Norway. It really would. I think this road would have had a max speed limit of 70 maybe, because there's no no central bollard. So I I think you need 
a central bullet for there to be an 80 km speed limit or, or higher in no way <laughs> which is fun so fun you, you fall asleep at that speed well uh, we started exactly here where we have I think the first house actually the first house is uh, on the um, northern side of the uh, um, of the road so here maybe because we have like that and then that that would make sense and then you have the road on the other side yeah and then there's a farm and then there are more houses it's farm and then more houses yeah that makes a lot of sense and we started exactly here which is like along the left side of that thing so there I'd say good 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 this is great so far okay and now we are sitting in a race seat on the back of a train um, in an alpine village in Switzerland where the train track goes it comes what it comes up there and goes in a spiral and keeps going oh sure why not uh, I guess we don't have road numbers to use then that's but okay so we have the spiral that we can use when we find it that's useful uh, what we don't have necessarily is road numbers and that's going to be problematic I think uh, I prefer being on the road instead of like on the train track uh, and I highly doubt we are going to find any um, anything we can use like road number wise let's see uh, the station's name is Brucio Brucio okay what does it say here it says Brucio Brucio, Brucio, Brucio. Okay, I don't know where that is. Um, it's a fairly, fairly small town, so that makes sense, I guess. But I mean, <laughs> what am I supposed to take away from this? We're going up, uh, up, up the valley though, so um, eventually we should get to a point where where we have like a better view of things, and that could be useful if we're lucky. This is the most windy train I've ever seen. Okay, those are proper Alps. That's uh, that's nice. That's maybe useful um, because that means we're in in this part and not this part. That's uh, something at least. We can't find Bruce over here, can we? Brucio? Um, no, 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 no. I'm sure you're screaming at the screen right now, like, it's there, it's there. I can't find it though. I can't find it right now. I hope I'm not completely blind. Um, No. Can't see it right now. Not there, not there. No, not that I can see. Okay, so we'll have to keep going and find something else. Um, which is a little bit annoying, uh, but I, there has to be some kind of road here as well that we can see. And that road should be more useful to us. Like, for instance, that road down there should be useful. Um, see, okay, so we're next to the road. That's the road sign we can pr probably use. And that's too far away, sadly. I can't see the number. It's a blue road, though, and it's 
twenty th something, I think. So, uh, but there are a lot of twenty something roads. Um, no. No. Hmm. I can't read the names there. Let's see, but if we keep going, there are more signs. So maybe that's going to be helpful. We can we can hope that it's helpful. Uh. Oh, it's so close, but just so far away. So close, so close. Let's see. Can I read what it says here? I think it says 28 or 29 and Tirano on that that's the big name there and that should be a like a city on this scale uh, that we can see so and along 28 um That's Brazil right there. Cool. Amazing. So we are, let's see, the train track winds its way up. Where's the, um, the uh, spiral thing? Because that's Brusio, right? And we're going up. And we have the lo road to our left. For now, at least. And when going north. That's the spiral there. Good. Good, 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 good. Amazing. And that means, like, we're next to the spiral. Next to, like, the middle of the spiral, spiral actually. So, yeah. This seems pretty bang on. Within the 5,000 point margin. That's amazing. Good. Great. It was 29 though, not 28, but still. Uh, cool. Yeah, great. I think going further and finding uh, finding this lake here would have been the next uh, useful thing. Okay. Huh. Are we can't we can't move? Are you for real? Okay, so we have to find this specific place. Uh, that's going to be more difficult. That's really annoying, actually. That's actually like terribly annoying. Okay, so there's a map here that's telling us what we can see, which mountains, but we can't like read the names there, sadly. Um, I'm sure someone can dig something useful out of this, but I don't think I can. I don't. An hour later. Yeah, I guess. Probably, yeah, it was way off. Okay, so this is where we were. And yeah, okay, so you see this makes sense because we have... No, it doesn't. What the actual what? Yeah, that's the windy road I was thinking of, but that road is not north, it's... Okay, so as it turns out, the north, north, south, east, west thing was totally wrong. And that screwed us up, uh, because otherwise we could maybe have found this actually, but we didn't. And... Yeah, all the characteristics actually like make sense once you have that. And this is like what I was looking at. But um But no. No. And with that I think I mean we can guess this, but there it doesn't make any difference really. I mean we can walk around, we can look at the placard with things on it. And no, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Can look down onto the giant Lac Clement, 
and it seems like we are on the yeah we're on the northern side of that so we are somewhere in looking down from this so I guess we're up there roughly make us probably a wrong lake yeah, it was wrong lake but still yeah I, I don't care silver medal whoa yay and that's great um, yeah so we got the first three right which was great uh, especially the uh, the um, Brusio train one in the like spiral here that was cool um, but then this was impossible you probably would have gotten this like given enough time because you can just like see okay we're we have a lake giant lake so we're up like either there or there or here um, but we are north of lakes so we can't be here because that would be Germany so it we're, we're north of this or this like maybe on the, this one and then we was in like okay um, this is road number 20 because we would have gone over to this road and having seen that I mean then we can say okay so it's not Lac Le Mans it's Lac de Neuchâtel Yes, and then okay, so we're looking down from here. Done. That's fine. Um, but we'll pick this up next week. And until then, goodbye.